When Hazem Junaid first left his home near Damascus, he figured he'd be back in a couple months. That was more than four years ago. Now he's settled in a suburb of Chicago. One of his three daughters requires regular blood transfusion, which she couldn't get after the war in Syria began. The family traveled to Lebanon, then Jordan and Turkey, where they applied for refugee status with the United Nations. Junaid says it took more than two years to get approval to come to the U.S. After that, we make a money interview, about sex interview, go and back, go, go. it's very, uh, take a long time. President Obama hosted a summit at the United Nations last week in which he and 48 other countries pledged more aid, educational opportunities and jobs for refugees. The United States has spent more than $5.9 billion in humanitarian aid for Syrians since the conflict began. But more than half of state governors in the U.S. oppose resettling Syrians. Who are these people? How do you know? What are we going to do with them? And why are we letting them all in? Um, we're not doing anyone a favor to let them in if we have no place to put them or jobs to give them. There are nine government-funded refugee resettlement agencies in the United States, which partner with community groups to help ease the transition for refugees. In Illinois, each gets a one-time stipend of $925 for rent and incidentals, as well as qualifying for other social services like food stamps. Refugees also get help in the form of English classes and job placement services. According to the World Relief Resettlement Agency, here in the Chicago area, more than 90 percent of refugees have a job within three months of arriving. As for the refugee vetting process, that's gotten tougher since the attacks of September 11, 2001. I think to label them as being dangerous is to mistake really the people who are coming for the people that they're really fleeing from. Junaid, who taught math in Syria and Arabic in Turkey, has found part-time work teaching Arabic. But like many of the millions who have fled since the war began, he says he'd prefer to see a resolution to the conflict so all Syrians can go home. Kristen Salumi, Al Jazeera, Chicago.